so in case you didn't work it out from the title already, today I'm going to be doing what is in my specifically Disney World bag. So obviously because it's going to be a bag that you're carrying around all day with you, you want to have as minimal stuff as possible. So I'm fairly certain that what I brought around with me every day was the minimum of things you need really. <laughs> so while I was there I actually used two different bags um, which I would sort of rotate around depending on what the weather was like each day. I had a bigger one which would fit a coat and then a smaller one which wouldn't fit a coat. So this one's the smaller one. This is just my normal everyday bag that I use every day and as you can see it's pretty small. Um, so everything that I think is essential other than days where you might need a coat would fit in something like this. So the other bag that I took with me was this one and it's, oh dear, it's a rucksack so basically you can keep your arms and everything all free because that's what you need but it is a small one um, and yes that is the TARDIS and yes I do just use that for everyday use. So as I mentioned before the first thing I would have in the bag would be a raincoat, nothing particularly special, just a light one. I went for a yellow one because I just feel like it you know it brightens it up a bit when it rains. So the next thing I always had with me was not specifically Disney World specifically um, but just any time I go abroad out of outside of the UK I always make sure that my passport is on me not just in my hotel in the safe but always on me just in case anything did happen I have just important good. So obviously when you have your magic band you can link your debit card, credit card, whichever up to that and you can use to pay with that. But I personally chose not to because while I was there I took all of my spending money in cash. So basically I didn't spend over what I wanted to spend. Um, but I also carried around my purse with me just as some sort of emergency backup. And also yes this is really my purse. Um, I think one of my friends gave it to me genuinely when we were about 12. And this is the only purse I've ever had. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with it so I see no reason to get rid of it. So the next item is my iPod and headphones which might seem kind of vintage because no one really uses iPods anymore they have it on their phone but basically if you ha have your music source external to your phone obviously you're not going to use your phone as much and you would use less of the battery ultimately um, or if for some reason your phone did die then you've always got your music and just generally speaking music you wouldn't think that it would be something you would need at Disney World, but I actually did you end up using it a couple times while my friends went on rides such as Tower of Terror and that kind of thing, which I just really wasn't my thing. <laughs> you know, I would just sort of sit nearby and listen to some tunes for a bit and just chill because downtime at Disney is always needed. <laughs> so the next thing is just simply a water bottle. Um, mine, it was the Little Mermaid, um, but unfortunately it's just spent a lot of time in my bag and it's a bit old now so it's most of it is scratched off, um, but any water bottle will do, it doesn't even have to be a Disney one. As long as it holds water and doesn't leak, then you're good. Fairly obvious reasoning, it's hot at Orlando and you've got to stay hydrated. And also if you've just got a water bottle with you, you never need to worry about having to buy bottles and stuff while you're there and that kind of thing. Because there's fountains absolutely everywhere so you can top up for free all day, save a bit of money. So being a British person abroad, um, I also carry sun cream with me, uh, not too necessarily, um, it kind of depends on what the weather is like that day, I usually have either 20 or 30 with me, I tend to put on the 30 no matter what the weather first thing in the morning um, and obviously if it's hotter then I'll just have a bit of a top up in the middle of the day. And also along those lines I have lip balm which is also SPF 15 which is, it just stops your lips drying out really in the sun. And then the only other two things that I had were my phone and my camera. Uh, my phone I used to take pictures with while I was there. Sometimes I would use it for things like just taking pictures of meals, which I thought looked particularly good, and you know, boring stuff like that, which doesn't need to be in HD, but you can look back when you're showing your friends and family your pictures and be like, oh, this meal was really good, we ate here, blah, 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 blah. And then obviously my camera, which I can't show you because I'm using to film right now, um, that goes without saying, because, you know, I vlogged. Link to playlist below. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it, that was everything that I had in my bag every day. And for the sake of staying lightweight, I would absolutely recommend getting a magic band. Um, you have your hotel key on here, you have your park tickets on here. Like I said, you can link up your credit or your debit card to this, so you don't have to carry any money around with you. If you purchase the Memory Maker, you also link that onto the magic band, so you can get all of your pictures sent directly to your account. And it just makes things a whole big bunch easier, which is basically why they were invented. 
Good invention. <laughs> so like I said, basically I just kept the absolute minimum of the essentials that I think that you would need. So I hope this helps anyone who might be going particularly from the UK over to Florida anytime soon and knowing what is kind of needed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.